When we're, we're hiring for the apprenticeship, we're looking for their skill set of climbing, what their knowledge is of trees and the characteristics of trees. It gives us a little step up with the, the guys that are coming in and it allows us to build on their skills that they already have in place. These guys are here because they enjoy working in the outdoors and they, they love working in trees. I enjoy being outside, I enjoy working with my hands. The biggest tree I've probably been up at Hydro One is about 85 feet. It's actually challenging, it's different every day. I don't want to be anywhere else. We trim back the trees from the hydro lines to maintain our clearance so uh, it doesn't spark or doesn't feed back into the line. Because if we don't trim their trees back from the hydro line and give them the clearance, then they can be without power when it gets windy, when it rains, when the snow hits. That's the reason why we do the maintenance on the lines, is just so to keep everybody in power. If a customer called about this, it would, it's because it's got rot. You can visually see the trees in bad shape. A forestry tech will come out, assess the tree, and he'll give his okay whether or not to take it out or not. And we're not butchers by any means, but we have to maintain our clearance. This would break a lot of poles if this tree happened to come down, so it's a good tree to take out. You get a little bit of windstorm, the power's out. It doesn't have to be that strong either. It doesn't have to be a storm for situations like that for the power to go out. Here where the ash tree fell, Landed on the line. See, it uh, got in that we're wedged in the dead ash tree. Start burning the actually ash tree. This is a good example of why we're clearing trees back from the lines. Our work program's 485 uh, kilometers of line clearing. We're basically accomplishing a tree every 15 to 30 minutes. We got dedicated observers, and then we've got now the person that'll be operating the truck to end up pulling it over. We'll need a guide person to end up guiding them to end up making sure that the truck's not going into any traffic. We got traffic control to end up making sure that everything's controlled on top of it. Being that we do have a lot of backyard work in Exeter, we've brought in the apprentices who are coming through the system that allows them to develop their skills in climbing in the backyards. It's a career. It's not a job. It's a career for these guys. These guys are here because they enjoy working in the outdoors and they, they take pride in what they do. And you can see it. dealing with the public, you're dealing with towns, it's a wide variety of things, it's different every day.